Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 715 and this is part 3 in which we will discuss question from 51 to 75. In a farm, there are cows and hens. If heads are counted, there are 180. If legs are counted, there are 420. The number of cows in the farm would be now cow and heads, cow and hens, cow and hens, number of heads, it means the number of counting will be the number of heads that is 180. If legs are counted, it means one cow has, one cow has four legs, so here write 4c plus h, one hen has two legs that is 2h which is equal to total is 420 420 now from the two equations you can find the value of c and h you can multiply to this by 2 so that it can balance now it should be equal to 360 now this is the equation which are in question now minus 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 would be equal to minus 2c that is equal to 60 in other words value of c would be equal to 30 question is number of cows in the farm number of cows is 30 answer is d otherwise you can also solve such kind of question by option technique question number 52 the ratio of radii of two cylinders is a 2 is to 3 and ratio of their height is 5 is to 4 find the ratio of their volume this cylinder pi r square h pi r square h you can cancel pi to pi here radius is 2 into 2 and height is 3 and in this case sorry radius is 2 is to 3 so this would be equal to 3 into 3 and height is here 5 and in this case 4 so 4 into 2 into uh, that is 20 that is 36 5 is to 9 should be the answer answer is d Next question, question number 53. If a clock strike once at 1 o'clock, twice at 2 o'clock and 12 times at 12 o'clock and again once at 1 o'clock and so on, how many times will the bell be struck in the course on two days? Now what is the question? From 1 to 12. 1 to 12. 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock, 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, and like this. So, 1 to 12, sum of, sum of natural number of 1 to 12 would be equal to 12 into 13 divided by 2. That is n into n plus, uh, n into n plus 1 divided by 2. This is the sum of natural number. Now, this is equal to 78. So, 78 plus next 78 that is in one day there are two round of 12 o'clock that is in one day 156 one day 156 times clock will strike in two days because question is two days so that should be equal to 312 312 would be the answer in b one in one, at one uh, one o'clock one time two o'clock two time that's why one plus 2 plus 3 like till 11, uh, till 12 we have added these and these are in fact 4 times so in one day 2 times uh, 12 o'clock circle in 4 days 12 times uh, 4 times so 78 that is one day 78 second day so total would be uh, sorry 78 first round first o'clock first 12 o'clock and then second that is in one day 156 and in two days 312 answer is B. B should be the answer. Next question, question number 54. Three lines intersect at a point generating six angle. If one of these angle is 90 degree, then the number of other distinct angle would be. So there are six angle. These are one, two, three, four, six angle generating. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three lines and six angle. Now this would be one 
one of these angle is 90 then if this is 90 then this would be also 90 this would be 90 this would be 90 vertically opposite angle and vertically opposite angle 180 minus 90 so this for one one two then three and four this would be identical now the next point is that if this line is for let's say this is 20 degree this is 70 degree total is 90 so this would be 20 degree this would be 70 degree and this would be 90 degree this would be 90 degree so we have one two three four four distinct four distinct or otherwise if this is they are 45 and 45 then we will have 45 we will have then 45 45 90 90 then we will have only two types so two or four d should be the answer next question question number 55 how many cubes of 2 cm a side can be made by melting it solid cube of 6 cm a side? How many cube of 2 cm? And side here is, so volume of this cube would be equal to, volume is a power 3, 6 into 6 into 6. And here, how many cube of 2 cm side? So side is 2 into 2 into 2. In other words, you can say a power 3 divided by a power 3. That is equal to number of cubes. And this is coming 27. 3 into 3 into 3. That is answer is C. Question number 56. The pie chart is given here. Pie chart drawn below shows expense of a family on various items and its saving during the year 2001 study the graph and answer the question this is pie chart now question number 56 maximum expenditure of the family was max expenditure maximum expenditure of the family is on food answer is a question number 57 total saving of the family for the year were equal to the expenditure on Saving, saving is 15% and 15% expenditure of housing. So answer is C. Question number 58. What percentage of the income was spent on transport and other item together? Other item 20% and the transport 5%. So total 25%. Answer is A. Question number 59. If the total income of family was rupees 1 lakh, how much money was spent on the education of the children? Total money 1 lakh and children education 12%. So 12,000 would be the answer. Answer is B. Question number 60. If the total income of the year was 1 lakh, the difference of the expense between housing and transport. Housing. Housing is this and transport is this. So difference is 10%. 10% of 10, uh, 1 lakh is equal to 10,000. Answer is D. Next question, question number 61. Three friends A, B, C decide to run around a circular track. They start at the same time and run on in the same direction. A is the quickest and when A finishes a lap, it is seen that C is as much behind B as B is behind A. When A completes 3 laps, C is the exact same position on the circular track as B was when A finished 1 lap. Find the ratio of the speeds of A, B and C. Now in this question we will see, let's say this is circular, this is circle, circular track. They start at the same time. From here you can see and in the same direction like this they are going in this direction A is the quickest when A finishes a lap it is see, seen that C is as much behind B as B is behind A if A is here again then B would be here and C would be here in other words this is the total length of track if it is T if A B and C a is going t distance t distance then b will go this is less d is minus 
t minus d and c will go t minus 2d when a will complete t b will uh, complete t minus d and c will do c will covers t minus 2t d and d 2d now next position is that when a complete three laps it means three laps so let's say this is 3t then b will obviously complete 3 t minus d that is if i multiplied here 3 minus d then this would be equal to 3t minus 3d and obviously this would be 3t minus 6d if i multiplied it by 3 now c is the exact this is very important uh, keyword c is the exact same position on the circular track as b was when a finished one lap if a finished one lap this is when a was here b was here so when a finished three then b will be here it means either b has completed c has completed only one round which is really impossible in the second case it will be that b has completed two round b, b has completed two round and c is behind from that so so you can say 2t minus d why why cannot be 3 here 3 is not possible because a is the quickest if a has completed 3t then obviously b has not completed 3t so this would be 2t and c is minus d minus d from a completion of these 2t so 2t minus d would be the this this is equal to you can say 3t minus 6d is equal to 2t minus d this is equal to this now t is equal to 5d t is equal to 5d means if this is one round then if d is then d value of d would be equal to 0 0.2 because 0 0.2 into 5 that is 1 so if this is 1 then this would be 0 0.2 here this would be 0 0.2 and here this will be point two. So B has reached at a point eight and A C has reached point six. So let's say A, B, and C. There you can say in particular time, let's say one hour, A is traveling T, then B will travel point eight. If A is traveling one, you can write one, B will travel point eight and C will travel point six this is the ratio of speed and that is equal to you can see you can multiply it by 10 so then 10 8 and 6 this is the ratio you can say 5 4 and 3 5 4 3 this is the ratio answer is a c answer is c there could have been one more possibility that is 2t instead of 2t minus d it could have been t minus d but this is because we could find answer from this and there is option over there also so there is no need to go there because this is almost impossible now question number 62 the ratio of the speed of the three cars is 2 is to 3 is to 4 what is the ratio of the time taken by them in covering the same distance ratio of a time taken if the speed is more 1 by speed is 2 3 and 4 3 car a b and c as we know speed is indirectly proportional to speed is equal to distance and time distance is in both cases let's say fix constant then obviously speed is inversely proportional to time inversely proportional to, to time so if speed is 2 then time would be 1 by 2 this would be 1 by 3 this is 1 by 4 means let's take LCM that is 12 6 4 and 3 6 4 3 should be the ratio of time next question question number 63 if each side of cube is increased by 30 centimeter 30 percent then its surface area will be surface area is 6 a square 6a here this is 6a square 
you can cancel 6 to 6 if let's say it was earlier 10 10 into 10 a square that is 100 now it would be 30 percent more that is 13 into 30 that is 169 so earlier if it was 100 then now it is 169 that is 69 percent increase answer is d question number 64 a is x percentage of b a is let's say you can write a is equal to x percentage of a, x percentage of b now we have written x percentage this is x in fact we have considered x percentage now next case is b is b is x percentage more than a x percentage more that is you can say like this because b is x percentage more than a this is a and then this is x percentage of this so this could be a plus x of a that is you can say b is equal to a 1 plus x a here we have here we have now you can write b is equal to in place of a you can write x b in place of a you can write x b and plus 1 plus x in other words you can say this is 0 x and x square this is in fact 1 because we have cancelled with it this is 1 b by b you can write also b by b that is 1 so x square plus x is minus 1 is equal to 0 now we have to find find the value of x this is in percentage now when can it be 0 when we have now see from the option which can be the nearest to this if i put here let's say 50 percent then 50 plus 50 percent that is 0 0.50 that is 0.25 minus 1 this is not 0 in fact so it should be more than 50 let's say i put here 62 i put here 62 then we will have 0.62 and that should be around 0.62 into 62 that is th around 37.337 and that should be equal to minus 1 this is equal around to 0 this is equal to 0 so this would be around 62 percent answer is b value of x is value of x is 62 percent what we have done in this question x is a percent a is x percentage of b a is x percentage of b and b is x percentage more so a plus x percentage is more than a x a into x in other words if it is 100 then for example it is more than this so in place of a we have put x into b that is xb you can cancel b to b so 1 is equal to x and plus x square from this we could find the value of x next question question number 65 the curved surface area of a cylindrical pillar is 264 meter square and its volume is 924 meter cube ratio between its diameter and height would be cylindrical pillar this is cylindrical pillar curved surface area of the cylinder is 264 this is 264 curved surface area and its volume is volume is pi r square and curved surface area is 2 pi r h volume 924 and curved surface area 264 this is given ratio between its diameter and height would be we have to find now you can cancel pi to pi and then s to s you can cancel r you can cancel to r now this is 1 3 2 so value of r from this we could find we could find r is equal to 7 r is equal to 7 now 2 pi r r we could find 7 and h is equal to 264 in other words you can say h is equal to 6 so we know r is equal to 7 d would be equal to 12 
h is equal to 6 what is the question ratio between diameter and height diameter and height is 4 14 is to 6 that is 7 into 3 7 is to 3 answer is d next question question number 66 average age of 44 boys in a class is 26 year if the teacher age is included the average age of the boys and teacher becomes 27 what is the teacher age so 44 boys into 26 this is total this is total and that is Eleven forty. If teacher age is included, every age of boys and teacher becomes twenty seven instead of twenty six, and now forty five. That should be equal to now. It was in fact uh, twenty six into four. That is one zero four. So eleven fourteen. 11 or 44 and difference of 12 15 that would be equal to 71 71 is the age of a teacher what we have done in this question 24 boys into 26 total age of boys now one person is included total would be 45 and average age has become 27 so this is total 1215 difference is age of teacher next question question number 67 value of sign 0 plus b cos 90 degree plus c tangent 45 is now here a sin sin 0 is equal to 0 a into 0 plus b cos 90 b cos cos 90 is equal to 0 so b into 0 plus c tangent 45 is equal to 1 so answer would be c d should be the answer next question question number 68 in ABC, A is equal to 90 degree and AD, BC is perpendicular, then ABC, A 90 degree, then we have to find which one is correct. Let's say this is A 90 degree and AD is perpendicular, this is A, B and C. AD is perpendicular to, this is A, this is D perpendicular to BC, then which one is correct? then which one is correct now from this ad square now this is a property and what is the property ad square is equal to bd and dc this is the property you must know about this otherwise what you can do is you see from this let's say this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 entire this and we have to find the value of this we have to find the value of this now see from this area of this triangle would be equal to 1 by 2 base into height we have put the value 3 4 5 Pythagoras triplet that is 6 and from this side base that is 5 into this is height that is AD 1 by 2 that is base and height is equal to 6 ad would be then ad would be equal to then sorry from this we take this as this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 from this c C and D. First, let's see the value of C and D. Let's see the value of C. Now, C D, D C D in this triangle, C D A and C A B. These are similar triangle. C D divided by that is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse, and here perpendicular that is three, and hypotenuse that is five. So C D would be equal to nine by five. This is nine by five, and here in this case. In this case, if this is 5 and this is 9 by 5, then 16 by 5, this would be 16 by 5. So, 16 by 5 and here 9 by 5, 
Now see from this, what is the value of AD? How can we find? You can find from this, this is perpendicular, that is 9 by 5 perpendicular and divided by high, uh, divided by base and we take base is let's say x here this is 3 perpendicular and high, uh, base is 4 so value of x would be equal to 9 by 5 into 4 by 3 that is 12 by 5 12 by 5 is the value of x this 12 by 5. Now verify whether this is equal to square of this would be equal to AD square that is square of this. Now it has become 144 divided by 25. This should be equal to 9 by 5 9 by 5 into 16 by 5 into 16 by 5. Now this has become 144 divided by 25. So we could pro prove from this we could from this could uh, prove that AD square is equal to CD into DB but always remember this this is important property this is very helpful property you must know this if you do not know then drive from the similar angle triangle properties from here like this you can put value otherwise you can in, in, uh, in place of putting value you can write only AC and AB format ne now the answer of this question would be equal to BD and DB that is DC BD and DC that is B next question question number 69 the minimum value of sin 60 sin power 60 plus cos power 60 the minimum value of it would be equal. here you can put value 45 and 45 cases you will get a minimum value let's say 45 would be 1 by root 2 and power of 6 would be equal to then 2 power 3 you can say because this is 1 by 2 and 6 would be equal to 2 power 3 that is 1 by 8 and here is also 1 by 8 so that is equal to 8 and we will have 2 by 8 1 by 4 should be the answer answer is C if you put instead of 45 instead of 45 other value let's say 90 degree then we will have 1 plus 0 because this is more this is in fact greatest otherwise if you put here if you put put here 30 in place of 45 then you will also get uh, between 1 and 1 by 4 so answer would be here this is minimum next question question number 70 number 70 the cylindrical cans of a cricket balls are to be packed in a box each can has a radius of 7 cm and height of 30 cm. Dimension of the box is that is L length 76, breadth 46 and height 45 cm. What is the maximum number of cans that can fit in the box? Very good question in fact question of the day. Very interesting question. Why is this interesting? Because this is you cannot, uh, cannot solve this question by simply and dividing the volume from the volume of this cylinder why because the box is uh, solid and it is not melted it cannot be melted so what is the question in fact uh, that let's say this is a cylindrical cylindrical canes this is cylindrical canes to understand this question this is cylindrical canes and the height of this can is uh, height of this can is this is cricket ball in fact cricket ball cans so height of this is 30 centimeter and 7 centimeter is the radius that is you can say 14 is the diameter 14 centimeters is the diameter from here to it so 30 and 14 centimeters here and this has to be put in a box and box has dimension box has dimension in this format like this 76 76 length you can make it three dimensional so that we can understand easily let's say this this is box and the length of this box is 70 centimeters 
सेवेंटी सिक्स इनफैक्ट ब्रेड्स फोर्टी सिक्स एंड हाइट फोर्टी फाइव हाइट फोर्टी फाइव एंड दिस वी हैव टू पुट इन दिस बॉक्स लेट से दिस इज थर्टी दिस इज थर्टी सी वाई पुट हेयर इन दिस फॉर्मेट देन वट विल हैपन देर विल बी स्पेस ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव If I put here in this format, in this like thirty and thirty, thirty till here, you can say I have put in this format like this one. After this, again one. After this, because here the diameter is fourteen, so fourteen and height is forty five, fourteen, fourteen and fourteen. So there will be little space then. Little space then, and we have, in fact, a three layer now. Three layer. So similarly here, the diameter is fourteen. So in this case, it would be layer would be again fourteen, fourteen and fourteen. So also you can write here fourteen, fourteen and fourteen. In other words. If you see till here, till this position, then we will have three and into uh, height also height wise three, three into three, nine. Nine cans we have already put, and here the space is length space is called thirty because the length is length of this can is thirty. Now again thirty, so it would be nine here. Till nine here again nine plus nine eighteen. Till here on eighteen have been added or put in the box. Now the space is space is thirty plus thirty sixty seventy six minus sixty that is sixteen. Sixteen centimeters the space left now here. And as we know, the di diameter of this can is fourteen. So it is uh, very much possible. And in fact, a 14 centimeter we have to add in 60 meter. That is possible. So, how many it is possible? If I put here to this side, because here it will be like this. You can see this will be the length of this 30. And it is possible to add 30 centimeter length. Yes, because this is 46, and we have to add it 30 only. So one, you can say one would be here, one and one. There will be three because fourteen. It's it is possible fourteen is the diameter, and length thirty, which is also possible because the width of this box is forty six. So three would be here. So nineteen plus nineteen plus three that is twenty one. Twenty one we can add in this way. I don't think more than twenty one can be added. The reason that we have taken the maximum space. Answer is D. Question number seventy one. The simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum compounded annually for two years are nine hundred and nine hundred forty-five respectively. The sum would be how much? Now there is a relationship of SI and CI for two years. This is the relationship. From this we can find the value of R. If you know R, and if we know simple interest. Then we we can find the value of a amount principal. Now here see nine hundred forty five fifty five fifty four nine hundred fifty four divided by nine hundred. That is hundred one zero six or you can say fifty three by fifty minus one because this is one so it will go to this side minus one and that will be equal to three by fifty which is equal to r by two hundred. In other words, R is equal to 12 percent. Now we know the value of R that is 12 percent. SI into 100 and R into T. SI is given 900 into 100. R is 12 and T is two years. Now see, three thousand seven hundred fifty should be the answer is D. Value of a principal. Question number seventy-two. A car traveling with a five by seven of its usual speed cover forty-two kilometer in one hour, forty minutes and forty-eight second. What is the usual speed of the car? 
now 1 over 40 minutes is 48 second what does it mean 48 divided uh, by 60 this is 4 by 5 minute 40 plus 4 by 5 minute that is 204 divided by and this is also 60 this is 60 1 hour 40 minutes 60 you can say so 40 plus 4 uh, plus 4 by 5 that would be equal to 200 0 by 4 5 and if you convert into hour then we will have then we will have this Seventeen this is in fact five. So seventeen by twenty five and plus one. This one in fact one hour we are taking in hour. So that should be equal to forty two divided by twenty five hours. So this is our forty two divided by twenty five hours. What is the usual speed of the car? A car travels 5 by 7 of its usual speed cover in 42 km, 42 km in this hour. In 1 hour it would be, in 1 hour it would be less, so 42 into 25 by 42. And that is equal to 25. So 25 km is the 5 by 7 is going in 25 km in 1 hour you can say 25 km. His usual speed would be 25 into 7 by 5 that is 35 km per hour. 35 km per hour is usual speed. What we have done is that first we have to find what is the value of this. This is equal to 42 by 25. Now 42 km going in this hour in 1 hour it will go 25 km. So 25 km in 1 hour is the speed which is 5 by 7. Usual speed would be equal to 25 into 7 by 5. So this would be 35 which is usual speed answer is D. Question number 73. If rupees 10 be allowed as due discount on a bill of rupees 110 due at the end of a certain time, then the discount allowed on the same sum due at the end of double the time. Now the question is, rupees 10 be allowed a trade discount on 110 rupees. Let's say this is bill 110 rupees. This is amount and discount is 20, uh, 10 rupees. Then the sum is 100 you can say. What does it mean? In one year a person has to give 110 rupees. But he want immediately money so bank will give 100 rupees immediately but bank will he has he will pay the bank 110 at one uh, at a after one year so this is the interpretation of this here discount is 100 rupees now in two years this is one year in two years it would be 20 rupees and here the sum is 100. In other words, you can say if 120 on 120 discount is 120 discount is 20 rupees. This is the interpretation because in two years it would be 20 rupees discount, 20 rupees discount, and this is 100. So if this is 100, then this would be 20. So if 120 is in place of this. 120 then discount is 20 but question is if the discounts are allowed on the same sum sum would be same let's say sum would be sum is same that is 110 then the discount would be how much so discount would be 20 divided by 120 and 1 into 110 so this should be equal to around 18.33 18 point more than 18 that is 18.33 answer is D question number 74 a box is made of 1 cm thick wood. If outer dimension of the box are 12 cm, 10 cm and 7 cm, find the volume of the wood used. Volume of the wood used. 
now 12 into 10 into 7 this is outer dimension minus inner dimension that is 10 because one left side and one right side 2 will subtract it so 10 into 8 into 5 2 from this and 2 from this because both sides 1 here and 1 here now it should be equal to 840 minus 400 that is 440 should be the answer is B question number 75 now if x percentage of x is x percentage of x is same as 10 percentage of uh, this 10 percent of this that should be equal to x square divided by 10 is the value of this x square divided by 10 is the value of this answer is b so in this presentation we have covered question from 51 to 75 thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best